Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
uh, terminator line is still in the same area, that would mean that the whole solar system is turning or what? You know what I mean? Like the sun's line is still in the same place, yet the moon is completely veered around. So during that moment that the moon comes closer and further from earth in that vibration and uneven wobble it has, it's 12% bigger and 12% smaller depending on the perigee or apogee, meaning if it's at its furthest, approximately 400,000 kilometers. If it's at its closest during the wobble, we're talking almost 100,000 kilometers closer. So there's a big major difference in how we can see the moon. And that difference, when you go outside with your telescope and you capture the moon when it's at its closest, and on top of that, you get it uh, when the moon is generally already at its closest not, uh, closest, not because of libration, but during the year. So when the moon is at its closest, you go outside during the wobble at whatever time you notice the moon is closest to Earth, and you'll be like, Wow. I mean, the moon could be like 290 kilometers away, 290,000 kilometers away. That's a lot closer. And uh, I'm telling you, the detail on the surface is exquisite as compared to when it's at its furthest. You could see a lot more on the surface. I really like this camera, the D850 from Nikon, and the colors and more virtual color we could see. I did see a blue line around the moon, but now we could see the beautiful blue, the possible um, atmosphere that you could see the purple lying over it, saffron colors. I mean, the details are there. It's just exquisite. As compared to the other uh, Nikon D3400, we really are seeing an amazing view of the surface. Of Sound, Mind, and Body, a YouTube channel that I really want to thank for having posted my research, even talked about myevent.com, uh, my fundraiser. And that person appreciated my work and wanted to share it for me. And I love you for it. Of sound, mind, and body, please check out that YouTube channel, guys, and uh, give that person some love and maybe a thank you for having shared the, the video. You know, getting the research out is what is the hardest to be able to do to, you know, interact, connect with other channels because often we just see things differently, which is normal. All scientists do. So amateur or not, I'm sure we'll see some differences. You see the haze that's out there, guys? We're still seeing it, right? So I'm really happy I went out because it was like 15, 20 minute clearing, but we're still able to see the, the moon because, you know, the 14 inch, um, it, it is good to cut through that uh, cloud. Look at the reds and the pinks and the salmon colors on the surface. Um, I don't know if you guys know it, but they sure are different as compared to the other times. So the blues and greens on the surface, um, you know, like these pink areas, look, I mean, they changed places. It wasn't like this last moon phase. So with this camera, we're going to see so many differences in colors. Maybe it doesn't mean anything, some of you will say. That's all right. I'm just here to observe, and you guys are just going to witness everything that I'm going to be able to capture. we got a nice setup now, guys, with the 14-inch telescope. I mean, it's pretty incredible. We're going to be seeing some um, incredible views of the surface. I'll get in really close. We'll be following that Terminator line to show us all the structures that are, um, you know, hidden. Uh, once that Terminator line moves over, it creates a shadow at the bottom of most of the construction constructed objects, sorry, and you can see them really well. I've shown the construction on the moon. There is a construction up there, ancient or not, um, that's c uh, confirmed. We're seeing uh, creature-like objects, smokes, clouds, hazes. We're seeing UFOs, confirmed UFOs, and just recently, um, a fleet of UFOs which were going by at incredible and impossible speeds. Look at the reds on the side there, the edge. Now, I hope you guys are seeing it. You know, we all have different monitors. Every single person um, that comes here to watch a video, we're looking at them on different monitors. And I'm sure that um, most of the time the colors can be different. Maybe right now some of you are not seeing the turquoise that's around Copernicus right here but I could see a lot of beautiful greens and turquoises. Um, you know, some 
monitors maybe will not show it because if I say look at the colors and you guys aren't seeing it well it could be the monitor don't forget to click on the HD button guys at the bottom of the video in the option gear uh, button if you don't click on it to be sure that you're in HD um, you're not going to see it in, in HD if YouTube is telling you you're watching it in 320 you may possibly not be watching it in 320 but that's what happens. Um, you know, YouTube's going with, with their format. It's a computer. It's a, a program. And it's telling you you're looking at 320p. But I'm telling you, you're looking at it in higher than that. Thanks a lot, guys, for coming to the live stream. To all live stream contributors and to everyone who took the time to come and say hello at the Friday live stream. I'll see you all next live stream.